we're going to do a short video here. Um, as a photographer, I'm often asked how uh, I do my baby's hair. And um, I want to show today that the different kinds of the different kinds of hair that can be here and what can be done. And I really want to specifically talk about curling hair because you can curl wavy hair and of course you can decide how you want curly hair to be done. And you can even take um, straight hair such as uh, the Yanni Sculpt here has. So this is Yanni Sculpt, this is the Levi Sculpt and this is the Yale Sculpt. And um, this Sculpt here came from Hungary and she was my first reborn that I've gotten. She's had her hair done, rerouted once. Um, this scalp here is from Canada. It's the Levi scalp. And uh, may, this, this one's made by Victoria Cormos. You can find her on reborn.com. This is Alexander Everlasting Love. She's on Facebook. And this is, um, this is uh, Natalie uh, Bellians. She is... Also, and I can put a little link for that. She is in France, so this baby is from France. And I had requested this baby have lots of hair uh, on top of her head, and her hair is really gorgeous. Like, there's just so much you can do with it. I can straighten it. I can even put, like, a little ponytail in it, and I can curl it. So I'm going to start with um, with the Yale Sculpt, um, whom I call Tilly, because we all like to name our reborns. This is Rosie. And this is my willow. So I use, this is something that is very easy to get um, in uh, Canada and the U.S. It's uh, by Laurel. But I think Laurel is a company known kind of worldwide, really. Maybe maybe begins actually in France. And uh, this is just a leave-in conditioner. Helps a detangler for children. I find it works really nice. And when it dries, like it holds the form that you're going to do. So I'm going to start here with her and I'm just going to do a light spray like so. And uh, from this point, I can kind of decide like exactly what it is that I want to do with her hair. And uh, I do love, I do love it curled in, uh, and like you can even see as I'm bringing it all up and about that, you know, there's lots of body to, to this hair. She is also mono, I think they're, I believe they're all mono rooted. Uh, this one might be uh, macro rooted because her curls might be in there, but it's a, a fantastic job that is done by uh, Alex. So one thing I do, like if I'm going to make some side curls, I'll just get that nice and wet in there, just kind of spread it around. And then this is the biggest tool I use right here. Just an ordinary pencil. And yes, you can see I have one not sharpened. That's just so I don't leave any little marks on them in any way at all. So if I start with her, now I kind of can, and another nice thing that I sometimes do is I can also wet my brush if I need a little extra water. Now I will decide like, do I want two or three little curls here in the side, whatever. So now my pencil, my magic pencil is gonna come into play here. So I will take it and I will literally just roll it and just a little bit of hair at a time because however I roll that, and then after I roll it on there, nice and snug, I'm just gonna gently pull that pencil out and you can see that little curl stayed. So this is how, and I, you know, you can decide how many curls you want on your baby. And photography wise, it kind of just depend on like what I'm after here. So there again, see? See that little curl, how, it, how it'll just stay? So you can go in and you can, and the curls are a little bigger because her hair is fuller. And again, just roll, there's the roll. Roll it nice and snug and then gently, very gently, because you don't want to pull any hair out. You just start lowering it down. Now up here, do I want to have multiple curls? Um, which I think with her, because we're doing a little demo, I will do. So I'm gonna pull her little hair up here. If I find it's a little dry, I can always give it another little sprint because it is gonna hold good with the sprint. So rolly, rolly, roll and gently pull and again i just have a little curl that's staying there so i can i can just pick up i mean it isn't and i won't because i don't want to make this super long i won't do the whole thing but again it's kind of personal decision you can kind of decide 
how much curl you want up here as you're rolling these little curls in and just pulling that out. See, isn't it sweet? Like already she's got that real um, baby look to her. Uh, one thing about this doll, like if she can look older or younger because of the extra hair that I had asked for her to have. So see the little curls taking form here so it's not all just sticking all over the place. If I see a little piece like this, we can just go in a little tiny sprint and I can roll, I can roll this one. So we try to keep her here in the light so you can see. So let's roll this down and uh, nice and snug, pulling it out gently and you can see the curls just appearing. Now, another thing you can do with a doll like this is ringlets. And so I'll just get a little sprint in there. i pull that a little bit. And for a ringlet, if you're gonna go down, then you wanna grab more hair, see? And you're gonna come in to like right up to the side of her head like this. So see, you can already see my ringlet forming. Now put my hand there like this and pull it down and look, there we go. So I can proceed to do this all the way around um, the head of baby Tilly. So we can, and I've done this and it looks absolutely amazing as I go to photograph her. So again, just like this, right? I'm rolling and I'm gonna hold, gently pull that down. See, there's no stress on her hair whatsoever as I'm doing this. And then that little hair can certainly fall into ringlets. Um, if you want something down on the front like this, and you want that curl that comes down, so again, you're going to use your pencil or even anything smaller if you want the little curls tighter, like so, when you can see that forming there. And then I just gently pull that down and I've got something coming down on her, on her head. So this is, and this is a baby with wavy hair. Now, another thing you can do with a little baby with wavy hair is you can, you can get your thing in and you can take your fingers and do this too. Just like twirling it and, and fixing it and fluffing it. And you can, you know, you can figure out if you, like how you, how you want that. And again, because she has a lot of hair. So once you get her, her done, we got her in a, you see my girls all have little cardigans on. They're from AliExpress and absolutely a fantastic uh, little price. And this is the zero to three, but it does fit the newborns because all these babies are newborn. So we can take this, I can pop that up there a little bit, move a little curl over to the side and there we go. Now this little baby, she was put with really, really curly hair in as you can see. So again, we're just gonna sprint her hair and I'm going to take the brush and I'm going to, I'm using the brush mostly to kind of get that all down through like into her there. So there's a couple of things that you can do with a doll that actually comes with curls like this. So you can do as we did with Tilly, you can make the little curls like this and wrap them around your pencil and pull forward and have that. The other little thing you can do because her hair is already pre-curled is you can go tinier. So each little piece of hair like this, see how small, it's just a small amount on there, like so. And then you just gently put your finger there and you, you pull it off, doing each of these in little knots. And even though this is really time consuming to do, it stays a long time once you're done. So once I have all these little curls in place with her as, as this, then she absolutely will hold those curls for literally days at a time. I'm just gonna move little Tilly over, or uh, move Tilly over and just bring her, just bring her forward a little bit. So these kind of curls also can be rubbed with the finger, but they'll have a tendency to stick up. So I find that it is really best if I take these little strands and I take the time to roll these little strands like this. And again, you can bring them down, you can drop them, and they will they will curl right on her uh, right on her forehead. Now, usually when, when you pull the curl, just keep your finger there like this. So the little curl gets a little guidance to, uh, to stay. And uh, I can take like with this with this particular curly haired baby girl, I uh, 
as I said, I can do tiny, tiny, tiny little curls, nice and tight, pulling them down. So there are no frayed hairs when I'm done, but then she just has like a whole head of kiss curls. And when this dries, I might even pull and lighten it a bit. Now, if you have like a curly baby, you see how she looks a little bald in that spot right there? Very easy to fix if you've got a curl baby, because again, I can twirl these little curls and I can bring them down, see? Over the little spots that are there. They don't have to have hair in every little piece of their head. And it's much, much shorter in through here, so I wouldn't do anything but just roll this with my, with my fingers. And again, I often ask, will ask for extra hair on the top of a, of a baby. Now, if you, if you want to here, you could make I, something I always call um, the Gerber curl. And uh, those maybe of a generation ago, the little Gerber baby with Gerber cereal always had this one little um, curl, standoff curl, right kind of in the middle of the forehead. And it is a really, it's one of my favorite. I use it a lot in my photography. So again, I'm gonna take the whole length. I wanna get as many pieces, see? as I can, as I'm rolling, as I'm rolling that pencil. So look how long that is. So I'm going to keep my length and I'm going to pull and that little curl's going to show more in the middle of there. And as that dries, it's really, really easy to fluff up. But the thing I love the most about our curly head babies, okay, Levi, sculpt, let's get you back up here. The thing I like the most about the curly head babies is once you get them in, it's just simply almost like magically how long that lasts. Now look at that little curl right there, see? See? So as that dries all over her head, it will stay like that. Then I can put a bonnet on her, I can put uh, her hairband on her, and she literally will stay curled for, honestly, like for days. It'll take a lot. It takes a lot and a long time before I lose her curls. So, and, it, and of course it does depend on how much I'm like uh, photographing her or posing her or whatever. Uh, bonnets on for a long time kind of will flatten it. If you get something like that after you get a hairband on, again, if you know the magic of your pencil or anything about the diameter of a pencil, just go again, look. See, there's the hair wrapped around and gently pull and there's that curl just falling into place. And she absolutely becomes stunning. And I get a lot of questions on her hair. Um, a lot of questions is who did her, um, particularly because of the hair. But that hair would just be sticky up here if you just don't take the time to pull that into tight little curls. So I'll move her over here. Now we'll bring my little Hungarian baby over here. If you go on reborn.com, there's only one artist in Hungary that does reborn dolls. And she's become very high-end. This is one of her beginning babies, and uh, Victoria Cormos has uh, earned uh, different certifications through the Russian artist, so her work is absolutely beautiful. And, you know, there's no scamming. You don't have to worry about anything like that when you have uh, an artist that is uh, so trusted and has such a good record, and she puts a lot into her babies. So here's a baby really with very, very straight hair. And photography wise, there's again, like if you have enough hair, of course you can do, you know, a little swoop. You can you can make her look more newbornish by pushing it, pushing these uh, longer pieces back, like so. And then you can, and you know, when the artist sells these babies and they do the little, you know, they go in and they do this beautiful little little uh, baby swirling on their head um, because she does have a lovely crown, this baby. And um, she, uh, as I said, she ended up being rooted because I, I don't know, she, we made a little trip to Mexico and when we got there, the whole back of her head uh, was bald and the artist sent me some hair for me to root that back in. But when I first got her, for some reason, um, some of her hair wasn't really just sticking. So let's take a baby like this. You're going to tell these babies do really have straight hair. And let's do, even though her hair is straight, you can already see like it will move. So let's go in and let's just put that one baby curl 
right up on top of this cute little head of this little Yanni sculpt uh, made by Legler. Sorry, folks. There we go. Anyway, this, this sculpt is, is uh, our German sculpt by Legler. I don't know why we're suddenly having a little problem with that camera staying. Sorry about that. It's not very nice when you're watching. All right. So I'm going to bring this down. And we want to and uh, never pull, right? Like get it, get it snug, but never pull, you know, because they can't, their hair can't grow back in. So you don't want to see any hairs like when you're done. So for her, you can just bring that right, right on up as such. And then, you know, if I want to, I will, I will pull her back hair out on the side like this. And I can just do a single uh, curl for her. So let's pull that in again. Just, you should be able to see that wrapping around the pencil. But again, you're not going to pull and you're gonna have your thumb underneath as you bring that pencil out to hold the hair so you're not causing any stress on her. And actually she's, you know, like you can see how straight that hair is, but she is, um, Victoria uses the very best hair that's on the market. And even though you do pay a higher price and extra for those things, the truth is, is that it pays off when you're doing your babies up. So let's roll this, and this is a nice big long piece here. So I'm gonna go down quite a ways. We don't worry about that back piece. There it is, wrapped around the pencil. Thumb supporting, bring it right on down. Hold right onto it, don't cause any pulling. And look, so there's a very straight baby who can have her hair also down. Now, she's got this beautiful straight hair, so I'm gonna pull a few strands down here from her curls. And then I'm going to just, cause everything's very wet there right now. So sometimes I just think she looks really sweet. If you just put a little, it just frames her, her little round face. And for her, I think we have a, I think I had a little hair band here for everybody. At least I did at the start. So let me just see where that is. Yeah, here we go. Or no. There we are. So we got a little star for her. Um, I think your first reborns are always a little bit of a star. So again, I can just bring, look, I can move that little curl around on that, keeping that on the side, bringing it down. And of course, you know, again, photography wise, you can always move them to the side. Anything comes undone, you just go right back and you grab it. It's just so easy once you know so you just put it right back. Same thing with this little piece, not a problem that I've messed it up with the bow. Back out she goes and she'll just roll back in to uh, whatever it is I've decided I want to do with that piece of hair. Let's bring that down there, little willow. Little willow, look at that little curl. So there we go. There we go and you can, she, she, she looks, a, it looks a little, um, swooped over she's got she's got tons of hair here for me to to move around and it, it's always like she's she's just a she's just a real gem of a baby to to do anything with that I want to do with so real quick just before we end it you know I'm just going to bring her also down straight you know there's just advantages to everything right the curly babies that just curl so beautiful your little babies that are straight hair they've got that I don't know delicate almost newborn kind of look to them where their little hair just, you know, swirls, right? Like, you know, and the nurses just take that little hair and they just, they just turn them into little darlings with it. So, I mean, she's got all this, all this ability too, that she can, she can come down and have these pieces all done. Look, you know, and I mean, it's just, I don't know, enjoy them really in enjoy, enjoy what it, if you like the straight hair or if you have a variety such as I do myself, um, then you can just enjoy the whole, the whole of it. So it just gives her a, a different look, whichever way I want to go. Band can go back in, you know, and now her hair is like down flat. For these bands, 
These are just nylon stockings. Look, okay. So there's no stress and look how huge it can go or how small. If you have a real little baby, you can double it up like this to do the head, like a little preemie or whatever. You can make your own. Just get your flowers from the dollar store, get bows from the dollar store, get little pieces of rags, whatever, anything you'd like, you can make them little bands with. So anyway, that's my little video on reborn hair.